Let's whack this cocksucker and we'll be done with it. The boss and his family told you you're gonna be Santa Claus. You're Santa Claus. So shut the fuck up about it. The miracle of Christmas. Next the blind will see and the lame will walk. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand touching fucking shoelaces. Ever go to tie your shoes and you notice the end of your laces are wet? From what? Why would they be wet? I got no fucking idea. You go to public bathrooms? You stand at the urinal? Oh, fuck. Come on, will you? He's asking me. I'm telling him. And frankly, it's important. Even if the lace is dry, and even if you don't touch the body of the shoe, bacteria and virus migrate from the soul up. You see this on TV? I gotta watch TV to figure out the world. Your average men's shit house is a fucking sewer. You look at ladies' johns, you could eat maple warm and ice cream from the toilets. Mm. Eh, there's exceptions. Mm. But a men's? Piss all over the fucking floor. Urinals jammed with cigarettes and more ball cakes. And they can pour all the fucking ice they want down there, my friend. It does nothing to kill germs. Even if you keep your shoes tied and you're not dragging your laces through the urine. Oh, shut the fuck up. Shut your mouth and listen. I'm gonna give you a couple extra days. But it's gonna cost you another two G's as a reminder not to fuck it up. I make myself clear? And don't get me to me like you. I'm not the one with the short bag. You gotta give that shit a rest. Man needs a seven hours. Keeps your mind sharp. Why don't you go grab us some coffee? Come on, are you kidding? Better yet, go to the ear, nose, and throat department. Get your hearing checked. Oh, look at that. It's like an ad for a fucking weight loss center. Before and way before. <laughs> this guy ever stopped breaking balls. Yeah, what I said, don't. They're like an ad for a weight loss center. Before and after. <laughs> to the boss of his family, shut the fuck up. You're too fucking worried about what I give you. Worry a little more about what you give me. You wearing a wire? You fucking crazy? That's well. Let him down. He fucking touches me. That make it easy on us all. Take him off. Everything. In New York, we opened up books, but they also laid it down. Probationary period. When I was coming up, this would never happen to new-made guys. But too many people are doing a simulcast. Well, maybe you, you fuck. Do me a favor. And don't take it personal. I said everything. Go fuck yourself. Before I was breaking balls. Now you're beginning to worry me. I guess you could call that a dick. <laughs> Why'd you go to that psychic last year, since you don't dwell on this shit? But that was different. Chrissy was shot. That was a paranormal event. What the fuck are you talking about? That psychic told you those guys were haunting you, the guys that you, uh... We're not lost. Stop getting comfy. Fuck it. Let's just go. Squirrels will lead them anyway. I lost my shoe. What's your fucking plan? Eat catch a pack? We should have stopped at Roy Rogers. And I should have fucked the 11s, but I didn't. Bring some food, all right? Some fucking shoes, too. I love that cocksucker like a brother. And he fucked me in the ass. Well, that's the difference between pussy and the others. Him, you love. The world don't run on love. Did you sniff that girl's panties? He told you that? Fucking baby. I gotta apologize. Pete, hey, I'm not apologizing. You out of line. He's gonna marry the girl, for Christ's sakes. 
as of the wedding day, anything that touches a pussy is off limits. I'm here to tell you one thing. You ever go whining to the big man again about shit between you and me, we'll have a problem, my friend. <laughs>